Now that everything is set up, I just want to show you how I have it set in Home Assistant. So how I have the Synology in Home Assistant and then how these cameras are connected in. So let's jump over to my repo. On my repo, we have all of my code. You can just go here, you can click on code and it will bring you to all the code. You can do searches for anything. So in this case, we can do a search for Synology and we can bring up issues and we can bring up code. The package that I'm using for the Synology is the Foscom package. These are the, I just named it Foscam, but it's really the Synology. And this is just a package underneath my config and packages. So you could take this file in its entirety and drop it in yours and just make some, mod some modifications to it. To bring your cameras into Home Assistant, you're gonna use the camera platform. Um, it's Synology. There's a URL, there's a username, password, timeout. I don't have a SSL on that one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use binary sensors. So each one of those cameras will act as a binary sensor so I can determine if there's motion or not. So we have one, two, three. Three of those cameras are already set up. I still have a fourth one waiting to go. With all these cameras, I'm gonna bring up my home assistant. In Home Assistant, we have the camera showing. So if we do a search for a camera, we can see our three motion sensors. So here are my camera motion sensors. There's the office motion sensor, which is just this motion sensor that's actually in my office that turns the light on and off. I'm in here now, so we'll probably see it flipping on and off while, while I talk. There's the three cameras. Looks like my camera one is in the far, far end of my house. Actually, I'll show you this. Camera one is all the way back here, um, viewing the gate. And then my access points are in the study, in the garage, and then in, in my office here. So for some reason that camera drops off. We have, we have a camera here, we have a camera here, camera here, and a camera over here. So um, for some reason this one, this is the, the master bedroom is sort of the weakest uh, place for my Wi-Fi, so on occasion it does drop off. But let me show you, let's go back to the camera settings. So we have these motion sensors. So we can do all sorts of things with the motion sensors. If motion is detected on the camera, what we can do is we can use the new feature of snapshot. We can take a snapshot and send that to our iOS. There's also the four cameras, which are here. The fourth one is not set up and running, but we have our three uh, cameras running and recording 24 seven. Uh, it's 24 seven for 30 days. Everything gets pushed into the Synology. It's all recorded. We can go back and look whenever we like. I don't have a camera card yet in Lovelace. So if we go, there are some camera cards that will be a piece that I will be doing in the future. So look out for that video. But once I start reworking my interface for Lovelace, uh, uh, we're gonna put up that camera card. It's definitely on my to-do list in my repo. There we go, much better. So we can see the three cameras are recording. Uh, they record 24 seven. So this is the interface that I primarily use. I use this on the Fire tablet as well. Uh, and so I can just walk by, quickly see status, these change periodically. There's another camera over here that's my uh, that's my Skybell, and there's there's um, images that get sent through here when the doorbell rings. So sometimes this is not showing if that image has become stale. It just knocks it off. But normally there's an image for last activity. When the doorbell is pressed, as a side note, when the doorbell is pressed, I also send that image to my iPhone. But this is basically how we have these cameras. The camera, the camera system is great. Synology is nice and easy, although it's a little bit, it's not totally inexpensive. Um, you get what you pay for. It, it integrates just beautifully into Home Assistant. This is pretty much all you need to do to bring in all of the cameras and all the binary sensors. So the binary sensors are added here. 
those are done individually and with the one statement for Synology, it brings in all of the cameras that are registered to the Synology. I do have some other automations, so let me pull those up. So if we do a search for a camera, this is where we can see, uh, this is the image that I showed you. Uh, this is the automation that I had mentioned before. When someone presses a doorbell, we do send the last activity. So that image gets sent to iOS. I've rolled in most of the iOS, most of the notifications, whether it's iOS or text-to-speech, is part of a script. So I can just pass variables to that script. If you guys are interested in like a deep dive or a breakdown of how I use these scripts, just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll, I'll work on a video that sort of deep dives and breaks down some of that stuff. So the second automation that I use with those cameras is my garage it. Um, there's another video. I'll, put, I'll leave a card here that that shows you how I installed garage it with Home Assistant. But basically, I have an automation that what we do is we look for. So there's a reflection rate with the garage it, and basically it tells if the garage doors are open or closed. So basically, whenever the doors open or close. I do kick off that notification engine. I take a snapshot and we send a quick snapshot of camera two, which is the, the camera through the Synology. So camera two gets attached to an iOS notification, goes to my phone, I can quickly see the front of the house whenever any of the, the two garage doors open. So that's the way I have Synology set up with Home Assistant. That's how all the cameras appear, both in my Lovelace and on my floor plan. Um, it works great, no issues with it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. There should be another video here or here that Google thinks you'll like. Take care.